Hey ladies and gents, it's Is The Wiz coming at you with the review of the Mythic Legions action figure, Thwick. Thwick. Here's the bio. It says... The goblins of Gob Hollow usually stay deep in the caves and caverns that make up their kingdom. However, when necessary, they will sometimes send parties out from the depths of the mountain and into the light. These small groups scout for oncoming danger, hunt for sustenance, and generally wreak havoc and mayhem wherever they go. Thwick, an expert marksman known for his deadly crossbow and menacing grin, leads the band of bowmen who protect the perimeter entrances to Gob Hollow. With his sinister wit and his penchant for causing pain, Thwick is counted on to provide a key line of defense for his brethren who dwell behind the mountain walls of Gob Hollow. All right, so that's Thwick. Here he is, this little tiny goblin. Not tiny necessarily, but smaller than the regular, regular Mythic Legion's figures. And um, I really like his bio and I really like uh, his addition to the line because he is a unique kind of goblin, a bowman. He's on the regular goblin sized body with the wicked looking armor and these very, this very, very cool helmet uh, with these very, very cool horns. And I want you to see what gives him so much personality is that sinister looking grin on his face. He just looks like he's enjoying his job. And it says his job is to inflict pain and protect the other goblins. But look at that. He's grinning ear to ear and he's got all these tiny little sharp teeth. And then he's got those tusks. Just a ton of personality in this little guy. So um, he is also armed to the teeth. So let me show you what he's got. He has this crossbow with a um, working string. Now, um, I would not recommend shooting the arrow out, but the arrow is a separate piece um, and it's sharp enough to maybe poke your eye out with. So just... Um, for safety's sake, I would say, you know, use this um, carefully. See, the arrow comes out. So that's one of his accessories. Separate arrow, separate crossbow, and, um, you know, he's a bowman. So that's how he does his dirty work and takes care of business. Also comes with this curved blade, this short sword that's very wicked looking. And um, I like I like this particular edition, and I think it suits him well as a weapon. He also has um, the quiver with uh, another bunch of blue arrows there, ready to notch into his crossbow. The arrows are sculpted into the quiver, so they can't come out, but it looks really nice there, hanging from this um, rubber belt which you can use to hang weapons for. So that's another accessory. Um, one of my favorite accessories that he has is, wait for it, wait for it. This really, really cool shield. Uh, it looks like a turtle or like a terrapin. Um, and I, it has this in the back so you can just pop it on his back like a turtle um, and I, I, I like I, I really love the shield um, I had from the from the very beginning been waiting for one like this because I wanted to use it with my bog goblin so I may do that I had used the uh, Clash of the Titans movie Perseus shield with my bog goblin and I thought that looked really cool but I think this one um, you know, since it's the additional official Mythic Legion's shield, um, I maybe I'll transfer that out so my Bog Goblin will have that too. 
So, um, like I said, ton of personality. We also get what we get with all these other um, figures. Hold on. Because he's got his hands full. I don't know if a shield and a... A shield is all obviously for close combat work. But um, this is the shield handle. Which is an, a, a kind of a new configuration there. The shield has a a couple of different places where you can put the shield handle. The shield handle can rotate, so you can use it that way. And it has this sort of knob there, so you can put it into the back of the figure with one of the adapters that he comes with and that all the figures come with, but that I seem to have misplaced if you're a mythic legions fan and you're that this far into the line i'm sure you know what the adapters really really look like so um yeah uh he's got those two adapters and i think you know that's pretty much everything everything he needs to um wreak havoc on the denizens of mythos for gob hollow Let's see how that goes Uh, his his shield handle fit, fits in his hand there really nicely. And then he can hold the shield and you can sort of rotate it around so that he'll have it um, and be able to hold it the way he wants to. So I'm going to have him obviously being a bowman and having that Really, really cool crossbow in his hand. I think I may just appropriate this shield for uh, one of my bog goblins. So um, I also wanted to show you how these can rotate. The horns can rotate. So you can actually have them in different configurations. I'm not sure which is the official configuration, but this also looks cool as well with with the with the horns like that. But I think I prefer them in the way they were originally like that. All right? Super duper cool. Um other cool thing about this is all the weathering on the armor and the wash and stuff. So um, I love that. Because it really, it looks like real metal. It's got all the details and the rivets and stuff painted here on the pauldrons. All the details it ne ne needs, but it's not overdone. Um, because if this guy's going to be, you know, running around in caves and forests and stuff. He's, he's, you know, it's, it needs to be utilitarian. Um, and so, very cool. I like the little, the blue and the loincloth, the little furry loincloth that ties in with the blue and the arrows. Um, um, so he, he looks, he looks sharp. He looks cool. Um, and I think one of my favorite goblins. A lot of people really like the goblins, and I do too. Um, they just look so mean and nasty and sinister, and they all have tons of personality. I'm, I like the little um, figures in this line as well. Like the Bog Goblin, I think, is one of my favorites. Um, but, you know, here's, here's, here he is next to the uh, Lord of the Rings Golem. Another nasty guy who lives in the dark and has sharp teeth. I love that. Uh, I've also appropriated some other small guys from different lines um, into my mythic, as Mythic Legions compatible figures. Some of you Star Wars fans may recognize that one. And I like the little, you know, dwarf characters. Here's one that I. Um, got uh, from a, a wrestler that I mashed up and kit bashed an Aries head on there. So um, these guys are tiny but mighty, and um, I can't wait to incorporate Thwick into 
this merry band of, of adventurers because you know they're going to be up to absolutely no good. Uh, other things that's cool about Thwick, I like his his name, that it sounds like a bowstring letting a, an arrow fly. And, um, you know, I may just have him ride one of these Lennard um, Ralph figures from the fa- ra- Rampage ride on one of these because he fits he fits in really nicely on Ralph there yeah and that's the other cool thing about these little figures is that it's easy for them to find mounts <laughs> and, and they, they are crashing the, the uh crashing the picnic um and uh it's kind of fun with these guys so yeah, I I enjoy Thwick. I I think he's awesome, and um, if you haven't picked picked him up, I highly, highly recommend him. Look at that. All right, is to is signing out.